If you've been watching this channel, you may know that I super duper recommend learning video editing and photography, a little bit of both, to have a valuable skill, to be worth a lot in the marketplace and make good money. But that all might be coming to an end with Adobe Firefly. Now, it might not actually be an end. I'm gonna show how this isn't gonna end editors, but how this is drastically gonna change the market. A uh, Adobe came out with this AI, dude, an AI editor that's gonna be coming out in the later half of 2023 that can do so many things. Let's watch and dive into this advertisement video for Adobe Firefly right now. First of all, if you gotta meet, if you gotta meet a software, if you gotta meet a software, Adobe Firefly, you gotta, hi, my name's Zach, nice to meet you, Adobe Firefly. You know it's gonna be crazy. You know it's going to go nuts. It's not like this presenting Adobe Firefly, presenting Premiere, presenting After Effects. No, this is meet it. Hey, my buddy just came in. Uh, he's gonna help with editing. His name is Firefly. Meet him. So I, I'm I'm already prepared. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Now, I don't know if you follow along here, but I'm sure you do. It opens with a scene and it says, generate music. The person then types in bright, adventurous, cheerful music. It generates bright, adventurous, cheerful music, automatically places it, mixes it and everything. Find sound effects. So the AI here, from what we've seen so far, is gonna see ocean foam, right? You click find sound effects, what happens? Ocean wave, beach ambiance, ocean foam. Now it's getting crazy. So not only is it gonna add some music, but it can also read what the image is and give you sound effects for that. Now, if you guys have been editing, you know that the sound design can up level the video so much, but it's the, it's the last little bit that's like, I, I don't have time to do this on this project. This project isn't good enough or isn't enough money to be spending that much time doing a sound design. So usually you just have some good shots, music, pump it out. But now with sound design being easy, AI generated, this could change things. Hear the ocean foam. Now, at this point, change it to a cool morning. We're talking color grading? Oh, change it to golden hour. And so you're typing it in, in the, the prompt the color you want. Now, obviously the color's a little much, you could argue, but for beginners, for getting a, a first edit done, ooh, boy. Brighten face. Okay, now we've hit the next level. Now your job is gone. Previously, bro, previously, when I was learning editing, to brighten a face, you would take it into a software, maybe like an Adobe After Effects, and you'd have to drop little pins all around the side of her face, create a circle with a bunch of little pins, and then you'd have to track, analyze, and it would track frame by frame, and then it would the, the tracking thing would fall off, and then you would have to adjust the mask and track the rest of the frame, it would fall off, you have to keep doing that over and over. This is automatically, and DaVinci Resolve is doing this as well, is doing an auto mask feature. Generate captions. Uh, this is cool. This is a little bit less important because um, Adobe Premiere already does this. Probably not as plug and play though. 
that's pretty cool so they're showing like animated uh text as well auto animated features describe what you want 3d molten iron when okay. i get to the crag i'm putting on this button here this button is where the money is made with this ai now li listen to watch this when I get to the crag, I'm putting on my shoes. When I get to the crag, I'm putting on my shoes, I'm walking up, and then I'm excited to get on the wall, but when I get on the wall, I'm focused. Did you catch that? It's going to analyze the transcript. It analyzes your B-roll. Now, the, the really important question is, do you have to name the B-roll or will it automatically analyze what's going on in the B-roll and then assign it to the parts in the transcript? Either way, pretty cool. But if I have to assign the name of the B-roll, uh, the AI is not there yet. If I have to name it, I might as well just put it in. I mean, that takes me two seconds to do anyways, right? But if I have to do 100 clips and it takes, let's say it takes 10 seconds to put B-roll in there. 100 clips, that's a thousand seconds. Time is money, baby. So it's it's saying you can click find B-roll, it'll analyze the text and put it in. Import a script and, and, and oh, you create storyboards. Oh, get out of here. Oh my gosh. I just realized what this meant. When I was watching another guy's video, it was like, oh, and it can even create storyboards for you. I'm like, oh, okay, that's like, it can just guess what you want to shoot. If you have a script and you actually write it out in the proper format, the, the typical film industry standard, exterior cafe, golden hour, right? Um, close up this, close up inside cafe. If you write it out with those prompts in the script, which are already script writing prompts. So if you're already doing script writing, then that's good. You throw it in there and it's going to freaking, it's going to freaking make a storyboard for you based off the shots that you already wanted to draw up and pre-design. Especially for people that never storyboarded, this would be a reason to actually start getting into the script writing stuff. All right, we have met Adobe Firefly. Now, do I think this is going to put editors out of business? I think it's going to dramatically change the editing format and every editor should be on the lookout to adopt these things as fast as possible. So if you're learning editing right now, always learn the basics, always learn the principles. The principles are not going away. They never will be going, or not never, but they won't be going away anytime soon. And if you know the principles, then your AI edits can be 10 times better. This is what it's going to be like. It's going to be like you are two editors, right? And then if you want to create a little bit of an agency, you want to have another editor that edits projects with you. Now you have four editors, essentially. So if you're a new editor and you're learning this, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged and don't be like, oh, just know it's actually going to get easier. Still learn the basics. And it's also going to take a little while for all of this stuff to implement. If you, if you know what I mean, like it's not going to immediately go in right away. Companies aren't going to be using Adobe Firefly right away and knowing how to use the B-roll video is fairly easy to understand. I've always said this. If you, if you spend a week, two weeks learning, uh, Adobe Premiere and you watch, um, you know, uh, film, right? You watch editing tutorials, film editing tutorials, video editing tutorials, editing for YouTube tutorials, editing for Instagram tutorials. You, you can learn editing, all the editing you need to learn pretty quickly and, and understand it and be somewhat proficient at it fairly quickly. Now, people in the marketplace still think video editing is super difficult. That like people, the business owners do not want to video edit, right? And they don't want to think that it's easy and try to, but it's fairly simple. So you can make money, good money doing a fairly simple job if you learn it fairly quickly. So likewise, they're not going to just shift their mindset and be like, oh, AI can do this for me. What? I don't need to hire an editor. No, they're still going to hire an editor. What you get to do as a video editor, what you get to do is promise 
faster delivery. Promise more videos in a, in a project. Over deliver, tell them you're gonna give them 15 social media clips and you give them 25 or 20, right? Uh, but I, I think primarily you don't want to cheapen your packages, right? Um, but you can get it so much faster. You don't have to. You don't have to tell people you're using AI. They're paying you to get the job done. So instead of being like, "Oh, I'm going to quit video editing," no, adapt this, and then you'll be cutting edge. So you you can get the job done ten times faster, and you can move on to another client. So you, instead of instead of even forget the over delivering idea. Instead of over delivering, giving them more videos than they paid for. You can get their project done in a couple hours. You can work on three projects in a day and get them all done. It's something that would normally take a day per person or two days of editing per client. Now you can get them three done in one day. Now you're opening your time to get more clients and make more money. I don't think Firefly is go gonna crush people, but um, as someone that runs an editing and video operation and, and helps workflow that, I am absolutely going to figure out how to utilize this Firefly to make our day to day 10 times faster so that we can also work on other things. This stuff is exciting. If you guys enjoy this video, comment down below. I really want to know what you guys think. Give it a like. And if you want to not miss a thing, subscribe. <laughs> Peace.